Hello everyone, welcome back to Take 5. My name is Luke. Today I'm going to be talking about The Playlist, which is a new mini-series on Netflix. If you are new to this channel, I typically talk about movies that goes from everything from current releases to some of my favorites and even Arkansas-based films. But I did just finish The Playlist and really enjoyed it and wanted to talk about it. So The Playlist is how Swedish tech entrepreneur Daniel Ek and business partner Martin Lawrenson revolutionized the music industry through free and legal music streaming when they launched Spotify. So this is a fictionalized version around the creation of Spotify, which is a service that I actually use and really enjoy. Um, what really intrigued me with this series is um, both being that it's around music as well as tech, which are two things I'm extremely passionate about uh, as an app developer. And I, I do remember when Spotify launched and being one of the early adopters there. So this was so cool to check out. I think if you are a fan of things like the social network, um, this is something you would really enjoy. I really love how they crafted each episode because I mean basically when you're watching a series it, it's like you're watching a playlist of different things but uh, the way the show is designed and and how they uh, do all the intro and the animations and everything it just it flows with Spotify and it's really cool to see but I really appreciate being able to go through this through the viewpoints of different people that were affected by Spotify, which is really, really cool. Now I did say that this is fictionalized. There are characters within this that um, are not real characters, but they do represent uh, real, essentially real people, person or people as a whole. And once you dive into this, it'll make a lot more sense, especially when you get to the episode of the artist. Um, but the flow of this is really cool. It's really fun to see uh, how you, you know, you see the the backstory of just a struggling uh, developer who wants to come up with a cool idea. Um, this is really framed around the height of the Pirate Bay. So we're really focused around Sony Music as they're battling the Pirate Bay in terms of trying to get this site shut down. For the few that probably aren't familiar with this, this is back when uh, essentially the Pirate Bay launch where people could just go search for songs and download them for free versus going to a store and buying a CD. So this is really at the height of the digital era as the internet is uh, going worldwide. People are getting used to it. People are finding these various services to find things. Um, you know, of course, you can think back of like the Napster days um, as well. But uh, just seeing the, the political battle there was really fascinating of the back and forth of like, you know, music should be free. Um, and it's really, it's really boils down to the pirate bay, excuse me, changing everything because, you know, they're taking things that we're just used to going out and buying and enjoying. And they're saying, no, they can be free. But the, the idea of being able to take that concept and seeing a business around it is really cool and, and how Daniel was able to to make that change through Spotify. Um, I mean, it's really inspiring in a lot of ways, um, but it's really cool to see uh, the viewpoints of the legality of things and, and the vision of Spotify and the back and forth of like, we wanted to build this, we were on this a mission to do this, to provide this and how they would just um, clash with one another to keep on that mission. And um, my favorite episode was definitely the, the developer. As a software engineer and, and kind of seeing that how that episode was created and uh, a lot within that was just really cool to see, um, really kind of hit home for me. But um, overall, man, this was such a fun show to watch. Um, easy watch. Uh, there are a couple of versions, being that this is a Swedish company. There is a, uh, you know, you can watch the original version and read subtitles, but there's also the voiceover version, which is the one that I watched. Um, but yeah, like if you're into music or technology and, and you like, if you're, especially if you're a fan of the social network, I think you'll really enjoy this show. It's only six episodes. It's a really easy watch. Watch it over a few days. So check it out and let me know what you thought of it. Um, 
definitely leaves me inspired, especially the tech side of me to just want to go out and continue building and creating uh, products for people to use. So let me know in the comments. Did you watch the playlist? Uh, what did you think about it? Um, are you a fan of Spotify or do you use another music service? Very curious. Um, I've tried various ones, but Spotify, I just, I just really enjoy it. I, I love it and love making playlists. And um, it's kind of a thing that I do is the start of every year. I just kind of spin up a new playlist and just throughout the year, just add music to it. So it's always fun to check out uh, what I've listened to at the end of the year. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, would love to know. I'm not going to rate this or anything. I just think it's a really cool show and you should check it out on Netflix. So thanks for coming. Uh, would love to know your thoughts on this. I'll be back with more soon uh, reviews soon. I've seen quite a few movies recently, so I'm excited to talk about those as we're getting into the holiday season. So uh, we'll see you soon.